Snoopy, I want to fly in the video next week. No, Pete, I think it's going to be Snoopy's turn. But I want to do it. Miss Stoker! <laughs> what? I need you outside. Knock, knock my door, knock next time. Okay. D did you see anything? No, I didn't see you playing with the dolls again. Good. Hello, Kindergarten, and happy Music Monday. All right, so this week, we know that Christmas is on its way, but we are going to talk about a different holiday, and it's called Hanukkah. And every year I talk about Hanukkah with my students, but since this is your first year with me, you might not even know what is Hanukkah. So here is a pretty short version of what Hanukkah is. So if you haven't heard about Hanukkah or you can't remember from last year, here is the very short version. So a long time ago, there were people that were called Jewish people and a king came along and he didn't think that the Jewish people should be allowed to have their traditions. So imagine someone coming along and saying, you don't get to put up your Christmas tree and no more presents. So he was kind of like a big Grinch. And so the people ended up fighting against him and his army in a war, and they actually won. And so to celebrate, they wanted to bring back their traditions. So one of the traditions they had is that they wanted to light a menorah, which is a candle holder. And, but they only had enough oil to light the menorah for one day. And it took them eight days to go like, they're not driving, you know, down to the grocery store. They have to, like, travel to go get more oil. And it took them eight days. And so they thought for sure that by the time they got back, the menorah wouldn't be lit anymore. But when they got back, the miracle was it was still lit. And so that's why Hanukkah lasts for eight days. So on December 10th, if you're Jewish or you celebrate Hanukkah, you're going to light your first candle. So in a menorah, the middle one is called the shamash, and you use that one to light the other one. So it looks like there's nine candles in a menorah, but really there's like the eight, the four on each side, and then the one in the middle. Um, and a lot of people use electric menorahs nowadays um, because you might not want candles burning in your house. So we are going to do a song that talks about the menorah and the candles. So it starts with one. One little candle burning bright. One little candle, it's Hanukkah tonight. And then there's this rumble. Can you sing that with me? So we're gonna sing one little candle. One, two, ready, go. One little candle burning bright One little candle, it's Hanukkah tonight All right, here's what we're going to do with this song. So we have to get all the way up to eight, right? Eight little candles. So if you have an instrument at home, a shaker, a drum, a tambourine, a triangle. Maybe you can fill a water glass like halfway and you can ding it. Um, Cause it would be really cool to have something that you could ding that makes kind of a metal sound. Um, you could, if you fill up a metal bowl, maybe your mom has a bowl in the kitchen, don't hit it loud. But if you fill it up with some water, it makes kind of a really cool sound. So every time you hear, that is us pretending that we're lighting the candle. And so you're gonna do one instrument and I'm gonna show you one of my favorite instruments that makes a really cool ding. That are these little guys. So these are called finger symbols, or maybe they're very strange, strange eyeballs. Whoa. Uh, but here's how you can play them. You can play them like a little toy monkey. 
right? But that's not very beautiful. That just kind of makes a noise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make them hit each other right on the edge. Isn't that cool? And what do you think is going to happen if I ding them and then I instantly touch them? The vibration's going to stop. Listen. Did you hear that? So right when I touch it, the metal doesn't get to vibrate anymore. So it stops all of the sound waves. Awesome. So we're going to put that at the very end on our we're gonna put a little ding you ready will you sing one little candle with me and if you have an instrument you can do a ding or a drum hit right with me or you can just sing it one two one ready go one little Awesome. So now we got to do two. You ready? But we don't play it like two times. We just still always do one ding because now you're lighting the second candle. So the other thing you can do while you're listening to this song is if you want to draw a menorah, then you could color in the candle as we sing the number. You could put a little flame and pretend to light it. Um, or you can sing it and play along with an instrument. So I'm going to start all the way back on one, and then we're going to go all the way through eight. And you can play along or sing along however you want to. So if you're going to draw a menorah, you can push pause, go draw your menorah, and then do this along with me. All right, here we go. One, two, one, ready, go. One little candle. job kindergarten all right so you have lots of options for your response this week you can show me a picture of the menorah you drew you can show me the instrument that you played or you can sing me the song do you think miss stoker wants to hear all the numbers one through eight 
like a five minute long song? No, that would be a little much. But if you want to just sing one little candle burning bright, one little candle lit on a tonight, you can just sing that that one little section. That would be awesome. All right. Thanks, kindergarten. And if you are celebrating Hanukkah this week, happy Hanukkah. And Christmas is coming a couple weeks after that. All right.